Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Sophia Goel and today we are going to discuss the part 3 of JavaScript interview question series. So without wasting any time, let's start. Okay, so as I've told you that this series consists of four parts majorly and this is the third part which is important but rarely asked interview questions. So yeah, these are the questions which are rarely asked but if the interview is for some good company or you know some company which, which is doing some complex stuff like uh, building a software development kit or building games or something like that then the interview could even comprise of more than 60% of these questions only so it would be better if you can get some time and read about them also okay so let's start and the first question will be difference between prototype and underscore underscore proto so i had asked you to study about prototype and inheritance in my first video you can check it uh, by clicking on the i button in the top right corner okay and you need to know about the, what is underscore underscore proto so please go in depth and check in the consoles like uh, about the functions and everything you might have seen that underscore underscore proto and try to know about the use of that okay uh, so the next question will be what is polyfill okay and uh, there could be like some follow-up questions like how to create a polyfill okay and after that they might ask you to write a polyfill for bind or promise not all or any function see friends polyfill is like how will you create your own function uh, like if you have to create your own bind or your own uh, promise not all or any other function like that how will you create it so yeah uh, see this this is also like i have told you in the first video now this is also one of those questions which does not come alone if somebody is asking you polyfill then there is highly possible that they might ask you like to create a polyfill of some function okay so please practice it the next question is explain debouncing and its benefits okay and then again the follow up will be like to write the code for debounce function the next question is again explain throttling and its benefits and then they could also ask you to write a code for throttling okay friends so uh, here let me tell you one thing these rebouncing throttling and there are few things that i am going to tell you like in the coming questions uh, these are just concepts they are not something which is related to only javascript you can do it in some other way in some other technologies also but uh, what they are expecting is to first to know these concepts and second to know the implementation using javascript of these concepts okay so the next question is a uh, difference between then and async await okay so this is uh, i would say a pretty weird question but it has been asked in some of my interviews because both of the concepts are used to uh, write uh, promises only so it would be better if you know about it okay and just don't just say that uh, with async and await it is short the code is shorter okay there is more to that okay so the next point the concept is what is memoization again a very very important concept because it is used to save memory and caching and all that stuff so please know about it and then there could be again a follow-up question write code for memoize some function or memoize Fibonacci series okay so there would be any function you should you should just have a basic idea like how to write a memoize function and then maybe you can write a question uh, sorry then maybe you can write uh, solution for uh, any type of uh, generic question or any they are asking okay uh, so the next question is what is currying and how do you do it yeah this is also like uh, one of uh, good and good and important concepts and again you need to know about the code so you might be like fed up of uh, listening like write the code write the code but yeah this is uh, important again uh, so the next question is different between for and for each. this is pretty simple and pretty straightforward but uh, you just need to know about the difference of uh, between these okay so the next question is explain the difference between mutable and immutable objects pretty important frames and especially if you are giving the interviews for react or, or something some frameworks or something complex then you need to know like the difference between immutable and immutable objects uh, there are some related questions also like what is the example of immutable objects in javascript what are the pros and cons of immutability how can you achieve immutability in your own code so yeah you need to dive in pretty deep for this to know about all these things okay uh the next question is are latin const wasted so yeah as i asked in the interview question part 2 series to know the difference between where latin const so yeah this is related to that only uh are latin const wasted you need to know about it and uh, there, there it could be asked like what is a uh, temporal late zone so you can consider it as the answer of this question just uh, check it out and you will know okay so friends now comes the time of the tip as usual so you might have got the tip uh, till now what i'm going to say and it is like uh, 
please practice the code and uh, please you know try to write javascript understand the concepts and write the code as much as possible as you have known in this part especially that the code is very important anyone can ask you about any complex thing and they will then ask you to write a code even it could be for closures promises or anything like that so you must be familiar like how to write it how to approach it and then maybe you will be able to easily solve that question okay without any burden or any pressure or anything like that so it would be better if you can do the practice along with learning the concepts only okay friends so that's it about today's video please let me know if it helped you or not again if it did then tell me in the comment section if it did not then also tell me in the comment section below and uh, if you have liked it and it was useful please like the video and share it to your friends who are looking for javascript interview questions or who are uh, willing to give interviews on front end web development okay so till then uh, thank you very much see you in the next video bye bye